years ago on August 26, NASA's Chandrayaan X-ray Observatory celebrated its first light, which essentially means it was the first image that was released from the telescope. It was very exciting for us because we were looking at Cassiopeia A. Cassiopeia A is a star that was many more times the mass of our sun, 8 to 10 at least, and it ran out of fuel, its core collapsed, and then it just exploded its guts. Chandra has been NASA's great observatory for X-ray astronomy since it launched in 1999. It is this incredible, powerful telescope that gets to look at exploding stars to supermassive black holes to clusters of galaxies and so much more. The first light anniversary for NASA's Chandrayaan Observatory that we're now revisiting 25 years later was essentially a celebration of Chandra opening up its eyes to the X-ray universe. The essential point of a sonification is to be able to translate information to sound so that you can process it differently, whether you're blind or low vision or you're just different needs, you can process the data and understand the data in a different way. In this piece, the x-rays from Chandra are revealing this very um, superheated gas, and that is being heard as an airy synthesizer sound. But the web data that's showing that cooler gas and dust is actually mapped to low musical sounds and wind-like sounds. And some of those individual stars are being sounded like almost like a, like a rain stick. The Chandra data is a wind-like sound, and that is showing all of this superheated multi-million degree gas that's sort of permeating and cushioned around these galaxies. And then there's also these very like compact sources from the uh, background galaxies that you're hearing as like bird-like chirps. Now in the 